Hey everybody, here we are back in Tinkercad. We are going to move on to day two of making your skimmer in Tinkercad. All right, so here's my skimmer example from yesterday, right? Up here where it says Tinker This, this is how you edit a previously created design or project. So I'm gonna click Tinker This. And hopefully that only takes a moment. Today we are gonna be making the fins and I'm going to attempt to put on the uh, back air flap. And then tomorrow I will try and finish up and have you guys do the air scoop, which goes underneath. All right, so uh, let's get started right away here. Here's my skimmer from yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring a box over, drop it down. We're gonna try and make the sides of the fin first. So let's do that. So I'm going to click this front square here. All right, so it's going to give me the length, and I want this to be three inches that way. All right. And height-wise, I'd like this to be three inches tall. And then I would like to change the thickness of it, or skinniness. So it's the size or thinness of a folder. So again, that was... 0.062, if you guys remember from yesterday, hit enter. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do the sides separately. I'm gonna change this height to half an inch. There we go. So that's what I want. So half inch tall, three inches long, and 0 0.062 wide, or depth, okay? So a very skinny rectangle, three inches long, half inch tall. Good. So now that I have that done, I'm gonna hit copy and paste. So we have a second one here. And the guy over so you guys can see they're separate. I'm gonna go ahead and click this rotate button here. And I'd like to rotate this second rectangle 90 degrees. Just like so as you can see, there's both of them. I'm going to bring this guy back so we can line it up a little bit. I'm going to hit shift and select the first rectangle. So now I have both of them selected. And we'll go up to align. Let's see if we can get these to come together the way we want them to. Okay. So I'm going to rotate so you guys can see a little bit better. So if I go here, this should have them kind of touch uh, perpendicular. So we'll do that. Now I gotta bring this guy up to here. So in order to do that, let's see if we can get it. Well, the wings are all the way up there. Yeah, let's go to the bottom like that, okay? So we'll try that one. Now you can see we're still a little off center there, right? So click this guy, and now we have them connected the way we want. And I'm going to go ahead and click the group button. And now it is one piece. And we'll go ahead and we'll raise this up so it's level with the work plane. So it goes to the, sorry, the bottom edge is zero. There we go. Okay, so we have this L shape, which is for the fin. Uh, next shape we're going to use, roof would be tempting. But really what we want is this wedge shape that's going to fit in this L. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that, bring it over. Okay, so right now we know that it's facing the wrong direction. So I'm going to click this rotate. And I'm going to go ahead and type 180 because I want to completely flip around, which it does. Okay, now we have to resize this. So first... Let's go ahead and change the thickness to 0 0.062. Enter. Change the height and the width here. So let's go height. And we'll change that to two and a half inches. And I've got to change. The length here. See if it'll let me any of these. There we go. 
I'll change that to 2.5 also. Okay, so now we have this triangle, 2.5 inches tall, 2.5 inches long, and 0 0.062 inches in depth. Okay, I'm gonna use my arrows here to kind of bring it over, get a little bit closer. And now we're gonna try and work on this alignment. So I hit shift again, click the L shape. They are now both selected. I'm gonna go ahead to align right here. I'm gonna try and bring, bring this rotate here, bring this guy back. So right here, so brought it back. That's not quite what I want. Let's change that. Let's bring it to the, and we'll do undo so you guys can see that again. Okay. Let's select this one, shift, select this one, go to align. Let's try this again. Okay, yeah, let's align it to the front first. Okay, and then we should be able to align it going upward, like so, and it is all one piece. That looks easier. I'm gonna go ahead and group. Okay, now we have an air fin, right? So before I attach to the skimmer, let's make a second one right away. So we'll go copy. Paste and try to this side. So we know that's for that side. Okay. Good. Now let's go ahead and try and attach these. So while this one is selected, I'm going to go ahead and click this one first. Shift. Click the second one. We will go back to align. Let's see if we can get this to work for us, okay? So if we go here, that will align the two on the side. Now we gotta bring this guy all the way back. So to do that, there it is, right there. So I can see the preview, click this guy. Now we have a small problem here, right? It's lower than it should be. So how do we bring it up? Let's see if we can figure that out. So that looks wrong. That looks like it's got potential. Let's try that. And there it is, in the right place. So while I have that in the right place, I'm gonna hit group. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and try and do that the same. And we just did with the other fin. So go ahead, click the body again, shift key, select the other fin so they're both selected. Go to align one more time. Okay, zoom out just a little bit. First thing, again, I just hover over so I can see a preview. So the first thing we'll do is bring the fin back. So that works, All right? Now we have to bring these together. So we use these dots as like previews. So that's not gonna do it. That looks like it will, let's try. Okay, so we have it connected. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit group. And now we have the body and two fins, All right? Pretty cool. All right, let's try and do the flap that goes in the back here. Uh, as our last thing for today. All right, so I'm gonna go back to box tool, bring it over here. This should go a little bit quicker. So this time, if I click this little white corner square, I get two measurements. I can change them both, three inches and three inches. Hit enter. I'm gonna go ahead and change the height or thickness for this one to 0 0.062 again, hit enter, Oops. 0 0.062. Now we gotta try and get this to be on an angle 
This is going to be a little bit of a challenge. So I'm going to go ahead and click the square. See if we can move it back, first of all. Okay. Now, when we do the align for this one, I am just going to try to uh, first angle it, if possible. Because it looks like we're on the work plane, which is fine. Okay. So here's this. We don't want to go too much with this, right? We just want to, um, sorry, we just want to raise it up a little bit. So 22.5 is a little high. Let's go ahead and change that. Undo. I'm going to try maybe like 12 degrees. Let's see what happens. Okay. That could work. So, let's see if we can get this to attach, okay? So if you get, saw me do the rotation, I only did 12 degrees, we can always play with that later. I'm gonna go ahead and select the body, shift there, go to a line. Okay, let's try and bring this guy over. Okay, that looks promising. Let's try this one. Okay, so we have it kind of in place. Now we have to try and align hmm. way too high. So this would bring it to the front which is not what we want. We want to align it to the back. Let's see if we get that to work. Okay. It's decent. Okay, good. So we're mostly there. Um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna click this piece click off here. Click the square. I'm going to try and raise it up just a hair manually. And what do you guys think? There's that back flap. Okay, so we'll click there. I will actually let's do that another. Click the body first, sorry. Then shift key, click the flap. Then group. And there we have an air skimmer with two fins and a flap in the back. Okay, good. We are done for today. I just want to get those two, sorry, three things attached. Uh, we'll stop there without going too far and giving you guys too much to do on one day. Um, and then we will continue tomorrow by doing the air scoop and attaching that. And then you will be officially done with the air skimmer on Tinkercad assignment. All right, go back and watch if you need to again, any, any parts that it might seem I went a little fast. And I wish you guys the best of luck. Um, I will check your progress on Tinkercad uh, later, possibly, to, possibly today or tomorrow. All right, guys, good luck. Wish you guys the best, and we'll talk next time.